To start using MySet for HiSys, we need at least a HiSys case with one separator. Open the palette and go to the Custom tab. There you will find the MySep icon. Drag it to your PFD to install the MySep main app. You can change the name of the app or leave it at the default OP100. The app will have found all the separators in your case. Next step is to identify the geometry file that you will have made inside MySep to make a mapping between the HiSys separators and the separators that you defined in MySap. You use a normal file browser window for that. If the separator names are identical, you could use the AutoMap function. Otherwise, you select the two corresponding separators in the two columns and hit the Add Pair button. After that, you have to activate these so you are free to have multiple associations between a ISIS separator and MySEP separators, but only one can actually be active of those. On the Design tab, you'll find some information about what you have imported. Now you have to do some further things in the respective separators. You go to the Rating tab, and on that tab you go to the Carryover Setup. You will see that no correlation is set yet, so you change it to the MySEP carryover. In many cases, you'll have to go to the dimension setup and add a light and heavy liquid level. Note that the app will update all the sizes of your separator so that they are consistent with the data which are in MySEP. Now you can have a look at the results of the carryover calculations. You open up your separator again and you go to the carryover results page. That is where you can see how much carryover has been calculated in whatever units you would prefer to see. Next, you may want to do some changes to operating conditions to see how those impact the carryover in your various vessels. Note that not all changes will have a huge impact on the carryover calculations. Like in this case, changing the flow significantly doesn't really do a lot. But changing the operating pressure to a lower value does make a significant change to the carryover. MySEP produces a lot more results than just the carryover rate. You can have a look at those in part on the HISIS results view and in part on the correlation specific view. The dispersion result lets you look at a table of droplet size distribution versus flow rate or a plot of the droplet size distribution. Here we change the color to make things a bit more clear. All these plots are live so you can change things and immediately see the impact for example, on the plot. More detailed MySEP specific information can be found on the correlation view. There you have all the information of what happens inside of the separator what the demister does, what the agglomerator does, what the gravity section does. And if there are any warnings, they will also be shown here. MySEP can also be run with HiSys Dynamics. You don't really have to do anything on the MySEP side. All the configuration you've done in steady state is good for running MySEP in Dynamics as well. On the HiSys side, there are obviously a number of things that need to be done, like having controllers in place. So we've had some of these hidden here. So now we just reveal them back so that they are available. Here we're going through some of the steps that are needed to get HiSys to run in Dynamics. Things like the pressure flow specifications, for example, need to be in order. And in this case, they were not, so some corrections need to be done.
at this point we're actually ready to start going. So start the integrator, time starts running, and now you should be able to see the carryover results changing as time changes and as the conditions change dynamically. Note that all sorts of operating conditions will actually affect things like in this case initially the level is very low and because of that the space above the liquid is much higher than it was before and so there is actually no carryover. Here we're showing some more manipulations you can do to the case to see how they impact the carryover. You can do this while the ISIS integrator is running, so you can really look at things as if they were live on an actually operating plant. So for example, by lowering the pressure or by opening up that valve, we will lower the total pressure and so we'll increase the actual volume flow rate through the separators and that will you know, hugely increase the carryover. Trending data is a very important part in dynamics. So you can create a strip chart in HiSys and make it visual. And then you can use the usual drag and drop capabilities that you have in HiSys to get carryover data, even the detailed carryover data, from the various views onto your strip chart. So here we're going to look at some more details like the overall carryover, currently still zero, but that will change as things run and then going into the dispersion result to pick up the carryover for a particular band of droplet size to have a more detailed view of what might, for example, go wrong with a compressor if the droplets get too big. Initially, the carryover is very low, so actually it even looks as if it's zero. But if we go and lower the pressure drop over the outlet valve of the second stage separator, you'll see that by lowering that pressure, all of a sudden we get a lot more carryover that goes to the compressor, which is downstream of this particular valve. And this concludes the overview of using MICEP with HISIS both in steady state and dynamic simulation.